Hello, I'm Marta Lackley here from Refine Co. Earlier this week, I shared a few of these images edited in the Refine Co. Facebook community. Um, if you're not already a member of our Facebook community, be sure to check the description below and give us a follow there where I'm in there daily, chit-chatting, answering questions, sharing examples, etc. But I shared a few of these images as our new Facebook community header. They were edited with Refine 3 and they got a lot of interest and I hadn't done an edit video on them yet, so I thought I would go ahead and do that. One of the big questions I got was one, how I got the edit that I did, and two, what was the camera body uh, that was used for this session, and it is a Canon R5. And as we've seen in some of the Canon R series files, um, they can lend a little flat, maybe even a little dull in color, but because we're using Refine 3, our most rich preset collection that we have, it really brings these images to life and gives them that true film look. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start with this image here. Um, I am come from the film era, so I like a little bit of a medium format film crop. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first, um, just so I know what I'm working with then. And as I mentioned, um, these are a little dull, a little flat. We're in, she's in complete shade here. Uh, we got a little bit of sun back here, but she is definitely in the blue shade. So I'm going to go ahead and warm things up a little. I brought down the exposure just a little. I may have to bring that back up because Refine 3 tends to run a little darker um, to get the depth and the dynamic depth that we wanted in this preset collection. It starts off a little dark and just by lifting exposure it lifts everything up just fine. Um, so let's just go ahead and run the preset off the bat and as you can see um, right off the bat we are just on the right track. I mean so much more color. Look at the depth that was added in here. Beautiful skin tones, and that is super, super zoomed. Um, beautiful skin tones that brought out the pink in her cheeks, the rosiness in her lips. Um, and then from there, like I said, you want to lift it up a little. And then I will continue adjusting white balance to taste. And really, this is subjective, so I just go with what I feel like the session needs. And I think somewhere in here looks great. And I could stop there couple things I wanted to show. Um, this image itself is already a little soft, so we don't need to add for soft film, but I want to show you how that works. And also, if you like a punchier look, really all you need to do is use the preset, the profile slider. You see how that really just gives it a nice, rich look. So you really have a lot of flexibility with this collection. And then the other option you have is you can add soft film, and as you can see, it really softens things up. So if you're looking for the very ethereal, lifted shadow, low contrast look, Soft film does that for you, but you also have the ability to adjust the soft film slider as well. So this is at zero, there's no soft film applied, and you can add as much or as little as you want. So I would say on this image, maybe somewhere in here, just to kind of soften things up and make it a little more delicate and almost romantic and ethereal. It's a little girl and a flower patch, I mean, you don't get more Romantic and ethereal than that. So that's how I'd edit that image. And next image, same thing. Let's go ahead and do a 4-3 crop on it. And go right about there. And again, um, she's on the shade side of the light. So we're going to go ahead and warm things up just a little. I'm going to run Refined 3. And I'm going with the first one. It's most neutral. The second has a little more um, warmth in the skin tones, and the third has more pink, and this one does not need more pink, so I'm not going to go there. And she's got a very soft, delicate skin tone, and I kind of like this monochromatic um, palette, so I'm going to stick with that. I'm taking out a tiny bit of magenta here, and let's look at this side by side, and we can literally stop there. Um, as I mentioned, you could run soft film. I'm going to pull a little bit off. I am going to go ahead and punch in. I just want to really punch in these details here and let the rest of the image fall off. So I'm going to use the slider to do that there. And there you go. Next image. Oh, looks like we had an edit going already on that one. Same thing. And I'm going to crop it in somewhere right in here. And same thing. We're definitely a little warm. There we go. You can see how Refine 3 immediately throws a bunch of depth into the image. Let me go ahead and put that side by side up for you guys. 
you can see just how flat everything was and we got so much life happening here so it really brings your eye into the moment that is the most important which is right here and we could of course crop him out and him but I kind of like that it's just a, a clustered image I am going to pull a tiny bit of the warmth out and a smidge of the magenta just to give a little more of that film look push that a little bit and there you go all right and we have this handsome little guy um, again super flat very cool very low contrast um, let's go ahead let's just run the preset first this time so there's the preset and then I'm going to add in that warmth just a smidge of magenta and definitely gonna push that contrast up a little and this is a great way to bring those R series files alive when they're a little dull it's just by pushing the preset slider a little or the profile slider a little more with our presets you can use the slider over here as well so I think the profiles work a little more dynamically in the color range but um, both will do the same effect and I don't think we need soft film on this one I'm gonna bring down the highlights just a smidge on his shirt because I don't want it feeling like it's blowing out maybe a little bit of contrast and let's do just two notches of the magenta out just go ahead and look at that side by side and there you go same thing let's do the preset add in the warmth that is the magenta and you can just see look at the depth in this grass this is why we built this as a profile instead of a preset because we were really able to get this dynamic depth that really gives you that film look the way the film creates like a roundness to the subject matter in the files and um, it's just stunning. I'm so happy with how this turned out. I'm gonna go ahead and pull down these highlights because I prefer not having a blown out background. I rather have it a slight graying or blue um, effect. And let's go ahead and knock a tiny bit of this magenta out. There we go. And if you like things warmer, you can warm it up a little more. <clears throat> I'm gonna run a soft film on it. I'm gonna take it out and just add a smidge of it in just to kind of soften things up a little there. And there we go. You can see how that got much darker because uh, that image was not as overexposed as some of the others. I'm just hand tweaking to taste but look how it really brought out their blues the pink lips all the details nice depth good Fuji 400 H uh, film tones without being too color shifty we try to avoid major color shift um, but that looks gorgeous I mean you've got great warmth and the cyans in your greens here um, everything looks beautiful I'm just lifting until the baby is where I want it and because she's so soft and delicate here I think I'm gonna run soft film on this there we go and I'm gonna pull it back just a little just kind of lighten this um, dark area I think I might even lift those shadows just a little bit there we go and your before and after and last image from this little set I'm doing here what a what an amazing location I'm absolutely jealous of this location I would probably shoot here every day if I could same thing just pulling back things and the beauty of the profile sliders is that all of these are at zero so if you really need to crank this down you could if this was a preset this would already be set somewhere and you would be limited on how far you could turn it down or up and that's one reason we're kind of really liking these the profiles um, just giving us a lot more flexibility on how far we can push a preset or a profile and um, I think it looks gorgeous I'm gonna add in a little bit of soft film in the same thing I'm going to turn it down to kind of find that happy medium where I want it 
I'm just going to get the contrast back in. Let's look at that before and after. And scroll down just a smidge. And there you go. Let's go ahead and look at these all together. And that's a beautiful collection. Um, I think the client would be extremely happy with these. And I want to thank Tebby Hardy for sending these in for us to use. Um, be sure to give her a follow. I'll put her Instagram and website in the link below um, in the description. And you guys have a wonderful day.